what's up long time no video I've missed you guys so much I just wanted to share a quick Dollar Tree haul ah uh, you guys it's coming up on one of my favorite times of year fall well I guess technically it is fall but here in Southern California it's not really showing the signs yet I learned my lesson last year when you see something at Dollar Tree early grab it early because it will not be there when you're ready to pick it up so with that being said, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible and show you guys the things that I've gotten over the past few weeks. I can't even remember when I got these. It's been so long ago, but I was in Dollar Tree not even looking for fall decor and just on a whim happened to see the LED leaf lights. I'm, I don't even think I saw these last year, you guys. They probably had them. I just didn't see them. Now I am kicking myself because I've actually started shopping for fall decor and I haven't seen these in any of the Dollar Trees that I've been to. So hopefully I will luck up on them because they're already starting to put out like the Halloween stuff. As a book junkie, bibliophile, you can never have enough page flags. This is a pack of 500. These are so helpful, especially when you're doing buddy reads or just to mark pages that you'd like to share important things in your reviews, if you blog, whatever. So, so happy to find these because the post-it ones are so expensive and there's no way that you get 500. If you guys follow me on Instagram and Snapchat, you know that I have a container garden on our patio and I picked up some bulbs mid summer, I wanna say, and they're actually starting to grow and bloom now. So I picked up some more bulbs to plant just because the weather here, I can probably get away with planting these now and having them later in the fall here in Southern California. So it's a pack of gladiolas and a pack of freesia. Super excited to plant these. Yeah. I love to burn candles all year long, but especially with the being fall, it's like the perfect time to burn candles. So I was on the hunt. I've been seeing people haul all of these fancy schmancy candles all of a sudden the Dollar Tree is carrying and I'm funny with fragrances because of my allergies and I don't like things that are too sweet. Um, I'm more of like a fresh scent type person. The invigorating lemon zest and basil scent soy blend candle. I've already burned one. Not much of a throw. So, so much for that. And these are the olive leaf and lemon little striping detail with the olive leaf it's got the yellow glass light candle and on cold smells very fresh not synthetic haven't burned it yet so I'm not sure the throw and how they do but I'm excited for these since holiday season last year I have been on the constant lookout for the wood craft candles that Dollar Tree carries. As you can see, it's got a wood wick. I love it. We don't have a fireplace. It kind of gives me that crackling, smoldering vibe while I'm reading. I keep it burning next to me while I'm in bed, nice and cozy. And I love it. Um, the only ones that I've seen have been the vanilla sugar. And this was like one out of like a ton of candles, but it was the only wood wick one that I have seen. I know when the holidays come around, they have like an apple cinnamon, but so hard to find so hard to find and i absolutely love this one and the vanilla is not too sugary or sweet so i definitely had to grab this one because you never see them a while ago i'd seen that people had been hauling pumpkin fall decor already i've seen a couple of videos with the burlap pumpkins i knew that these probably would not be around once people start getting heavy into picking up fall decor so of course I had to grab two of these little burlap babies. I absolutely love them, you guys. So cute. I went to grab a couple of pairs of socks. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Bookstagram, as we book lovers call it, you already know it's up with Sock Sunday. So I can never have too many pairs of socks. I'm a crazy sock freak. Like love crazy well print. These were adorable almost knee high, probably knee high on most people, but I'm tall, so grab those. And then I grab these cutie patooties. They're gonna look great in photos because they're both very bright. Very excited. Somebody else likes socks too. I like the socks, huh? Yep. You like the socks? I know, 
I know. Finally, on to the good stuff. Everything else is gonna be about the fall decor. So I picked up this 14 inch metal wreath ring. Gonna attempt to make a fall wreath this year. We'll see how that goes. A couple of rolls of this burlap ribbon. I picked up an orange and in the traditional just brown burlap color. I was also looking for leaf garland uh, to go with the wreaths and oh my gosh you guys I know it's Dollar Tree but they are so like skimpy and thin and naked so I picked up this kind of orange red ombre or orange and red yellow orange mix orange yellow mix I wanted to throw some green in there I had to grab some with the glitter leaves so there's a little bit of sparkle on some of the maple leaves. Hoping this will be enough to make a non-anorexic looking wreath. Just in case it's not, I grabbed a couple of picks to like fill in an accent. So I got this little acorn bundle, little red pumpkin spray, couple of sprays of this yellow with the gold maple leaf and then an orange pumpkin spray. So we'll see, and if I have too much left over, then I will just make some arrangements around the house and try to zhuzh up the house for fall. If you watch any of the fall hauls, then I know you've seen the pumpkins that I'm about to show you, but I've been watching them for a couple of weeks and finally decided to pull the trigger and try to find them. And that, and that is these gorgeous, super heavy, oh my God, you guys, like super cute. The light is not doing it justice. There is the white, like that was the main one that I was looking for. On a random side note, I woke up super early. So I decided to run to Dollar Tree, of course. Super early in the morning, I'm picking out leaves for like my wreath idea. And I hear like clink clinking by me and this lady talking to her kids like, oh my gosh, they have them. Clink, 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 clink. You guys, get this, get that. And I'm like, oh my God, it's the friggin' pumpkins. Like I dropped the ball so hard, you guys. I was there totally before her. And I didn't want to just like bum rush her and her. Yes, it is a pumpkin boo. I didn't want to bum rush her and her kids. But anyways, she totally grabbed the last of like the white ones. Like so disappointed, whatever. But onto this. So I got this gorgeous green because I love it. These super pretty bronze. I picked up two of these. I was gonna get another green one, but there was a chip in the stem of the pumpkin, just like the paint is missing there, but that's an easy fix. So I grabbed these beauties. You guys, I absolutely love them. That was it for that Dollar Tree. I was on a mission to go to another Dollar Tree down the street around the corner in hopes of finding the white pumpkin. So let me show you guys the few things that I got at the next location. On to the second Dollar Tree stop. I'll start with the two items that aren't fall decor related. So we stopped using dryer sheets like, oh my God, like maybe a couple of years ago just because of the toxic chemicals and stuff like that in them. I'm kind of on the low been missing dryer sheets, so I won't use them in bubs uh, loads of laundry, but I'll probably grab more for myself next time if I see some more. I have been wanting to get one of these bottles for dish soap because it looks cleaner and neater. It's more appealing in the kitchen, so I've been wanting to grab one of these forever. Usually I see the ones with like the chalk labels, and I didn't want this. This is the first time I've actually seen the plain bottle without the label, so I totally picked this up. So excited. Finally, the last of the fall decor for now. I was able to get a, another of the pumpkins with the tin leaf and green. I always like to get things in pairs to make it like balanced and even when I try to do decor, so hopefully it'll work out for me. They had the white ones, you guys. Oh, the light is not gonna let you guys see how beautiful these are. Can you guys kind of see the pearl tone in that? What do you think is, you guys look, there's a nick on this side. These were the only two they had, so I grabbed it anyways, but thank goodness. The leaf is on this side, which is perfect, so I can just turn it this way, ta-da. But unfortunately, check out the stem on this guy, but I could probably fix that with a little paint. It's got a couple of like, nicks on it as well. But not only that, you guys, it's, there is a whole side that is missing the pearl 
paint on it. I'm sure I'll make it work. Just grab these in case I don't find perfect ones later on. So at least I have something to work with for now. So yay. Grab two of these shiny pumpkin hair, super adorable. They came in, I believe, different shapes, like a gourd. I think that was like gold and it was kind of like higher. It was taller. And I think there was a green, green, some kind of like pumpkin or gourd or something like that. But I just wanted to get the orange for fall to go with my kind of like neutral colors that I have. And I like it that these guys are a little bit different in size and shape than this guy. So I can kind of like play around and place them, hopefully. I grabbed just a plain traditional looking ceramic pumpkin. They have some really cool ones in all sorts of different colors. And I grabbed quite a few last season they're in storage i have to get them but i wasn't able to get the plain orange so i went to grab it unfortunately there was only one but i picked it up so we'll see if i can find a brother or sister for it later on i know some dollar trees have out the halloween decor already i was looking for the carvable pumpkins for a diy that i want to do but i couldn't find them i grabbed these instead of the plain ones because maybe i can do something with the tops of these the little floral arrangements. And I like it that they're different heights and sizes to complement each other. But that is it. If you guys enjoyed the video, you wanna see more fall hauls, decor stuff, things like that mixed in with my bookish life, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys watching. If you want, subscribe so you guys will know when I put out more videos. And hopefully I will see you guys soon. Bye.